right, welcome back. What did you discover? This is, this is, oh, and is this, is this why I think it is? Yes, I think so. Impossible. Nani? Oh, wait, no, where's that what? I'm being dumb. The Pontiff Court will see to our victory. Safety. Ugh, the church. Out here in the woods. Don't spend a moment worrying about this. Oh man, this has red death flags. You just make sure to keep yourself safe. Hello there, Yurlina. It's so dark around here lately, isn't it? I feel like the captain and Lord Inko are both hiding something big. But I suppose it's not our place to know. Captain knows best. She points at the leaves poking out of your bag. Say, what kind of plant is that? It looks cute. Cute. Yes, pull it out pull it out of your bag so we can get a good look. What are you two yammering about? I'm trying to get Yurlina to show me this cute plant. Cute, it's a plant. Hey, are we hazing Yurlina? I feel like we didn't do enough of that in the beginning. God damn it, Merrick. Whose side are you on, bro? Sierra tugs at the the straps of your bag. Why are you being so secretive for? It's just a plant. I want to see. What exactly are we trying to see? I don't know. She keeps saying it's cute. I heard that part. Gwen snatches the plant from your bag. You mean this? Haha, <laughs> look at this little cutie. Thank you, Gwen. You think that weird plant is cute. You really need to find yourself a man, Sierra. Don't talk to her like that. This plant is kind of baby shaped. Sierra probably is just feeling some maternal instinct. I got instinct to throw that thing in the fire. Why are you all standing around? Sierra was uh, examining this weird plant. We were helping her out. Why are you interested in this plant, Sierra? Oh, I just thought it was cute. Cute? Yeah, it looks like, you know, a little doll or something. A doll. Yes, the leaves are just like the hair and the bottoms are its fat little legs. I like it and I don't care if you all make fun of me. It's a doll, a doll with blonde hair, okay? Rudell, daddy's not going on vacation. He's not going to go doll shopping for you. Go stand with your sister. You, you see how quiet she's being? Please, daddy, I want a doll. Please promise me that you'll buy one for me. Uh, if my little princess want it, my little princess will have it. You see? You see? Is there anything you want? No, just come home soon. I will. I'll find something for you, too. You'll spoil them. I'm their father. That's my job. You better not break your promise, Daddy. Ah. What's going on? What is it? What are you yelling about? What's all this blood? Sierra's hands are covered with blood. Sierra, are you hurt? I think it's from that plant. Galahad points to the weird plant. It looks like a small dead body. I just squeezed it, and then there was... Uh, is this blood? Is this real blood? Goddess, I... Sierra eyes go wild. What are you all looking at? Are you turning against me? Ahan yanks away the plant and checks her hand. Sierra, stop. You are among friends. Oh, is she hallucinating? Is it like a berserker hallucination thing? Get yourself cleaned up and lay down. You're going to need a lot of rest over the next few days. I'm sorry, Captain. I just felt so, so angry. Sierra goes to clean herself. What in the hell was that? Sierra went crazy. I can make her a tincture to calm her nerves if I just had some wild berry hers. But I can't go into Hilbert Fort Hilder now. Do you think you can get some for her? I really like. I mean, I think Sierra would really appreciate it. Got her rose's eyes behind Merrick. Aw, are they lovey dovey? All right. These Charles druggies they been using the plant to enhance themselves. That's why they're moving closer from the forest. Like is a plant normally grown there? Or did someone else bring it here? Hmm. 
as a Reddit message. I mean, he seems sluggish. Except for this guy. He's using a weapon. Ouch. I'll get it down somewhere. Man, I keep missing. Ouch. This guy's gonna have a combo combo. Hopefully he kills. Yes, it did. Did you find the herbs? You hand over the herbs and Merrick sets about mixing a potion. A mellow floral scent fills the outpost. That should do it. I'll take it to her. Through the crack in the door, you see Sierra shaking, shakily drinking the potion that laid back down. Oh, my poor girl. Thank you, Yurlina. I seen Sierra take a spear to the... Wow. And keep walking with a smile. That's pretty badass. But that plant really got her. With a little rest, she should be back to her usual self in no time. I kind of wish the mercenary was actually in the battle with us helping us out. But I'm sure, like... It's actually happening and with, we're with the rest of the characters that you can make. But it would be cool if you could like, they could have AIs or bots helping. But the battles are already easy enough, so I guess it is what it is. Inkel picks up the bloody shade. This is all we brought back from the Hilder Forest for now. This isn't getting us anywhere. We need to press harder, Alhan. Yes, sir. Your soldiers will need to go back, as you command. This is your next target. The far end of Hilder Forest hosts a ruins that most of my men would never dare enter. If there are a strange plant growing anywhere in my lands, that will be the place to look. We must find evidence that the nightshade was planted there in the first place. If we cannot, tell your troops to destroy everything. Alright. Oh, this Andy and their Jones thing. Feel like we've been here before. Man, all these voice crack. Man, I gotta start to speak clearer. Expressive. When I talk. Struggling in that and reading and uh, renunciations. And people would think English is my second language, it's actually my first. Hopefully, I'll get better as we continue playing or I record. But come on. I was like running circles around this wiener worm looking thing. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, you can't even kill him? I'm disappointed. I'm on the table. Oh, I missed that time. Oh, it's a boss. Time to transform. Can't wait to unlock second transformation. 
holier. Oh, he has some nice air. He has like one of those things in here, so. Was it a mohawk? Oh man, it's a tab, not right click. Well, that was a good fight, my dude. You know, I just thought of it. What if Inkel's the one that killed Odd Hunt's wife and kids? That'd be quite a twist, huh? Oh, we got Bloody Shade or Night Shade. What is it? I forgot. Isn't those the looking plants like in Harry Potter? I forgot what they're called. What did you find in this ruin? You show him the bleeding plant. This is what you found? It is all true, Adhan. Do you remember these plants? Yes. They're the same as before. Yes. Or, well, Adhan had the plant on them and he came back. And it, it made him enraged and killed his family. Man, that'd be dark. These voice cracks. I thought we had seen the last of them. Sir, can you please explain what is this plant and why does it have you both so spooked? This is a plant called Bloody Shade, officially. It's not a... It's not on any records. Why? You may find it mentioned in myths and legend. What is it for? It is a cursed plant brought to life by foul magic and one I had hoped never to see again. It turns men into beasts and beasts into monsters. The trolls must be growing them for their ritual, the filthy beasts. You think they're farming? I know they are. Bloody Shade is a mutation of Nightshade that can only be cultivated with blood magic. So there is blood magic in this game. And this one is fresh. If they're going through, how would you know if, if it's fresh? If they're going through all the effort, they must know what, what it's used for. I mean, unless he's going them too for his troops to fight against the formal armies. Inkel and Adhan locks eyes. This war may already be lost. The only true failure comes in not trying, sir. You haven't changed at all. The hint of a smile touches Adhan's lips. That's not true. I got more handsome with age. I mean, he's not wrong. Inkel lets out a roaring belly laugh. Do not talk to me about getting old, boy. Sorry, sir. Let's call it a day, old friend. We could all use a good rest and a hard drink. Why are you still here? Aren't you tired? I will leave when you do. You don't have to be so formal. It's not like I'm still your superior. That's not true. You're the only person I'll ever take orders from, Inkel. Adhan, I must ask you something. Yes, please continue. Oh, I think it might be backstory. If you were able to return on that day, you might have not lost your family. I think it would have happened anyways. I could only have delayed the inevitable. Evable? Inevitable. Well, you know what I mean. Do you blame me for what happened? No. Is that so? It's good to hear that. You don't hate me, haha. <laughs> but perhaps I could. I should hate myself. Jealous ring. Why not? We have no support. Then I will go alone. Well, he had a lot of hair back then. It's just more spiked for Inkel. You're being reckless, Alhan. You'll be dead in a day. I don't care. The moment they died, so did I. Damn. Inkel. Inkel. Yes, what is it? Inkel, everyone's waiting for you to speak. Oh, is that so? Inkel looks over everyone gathered. If everyone is here, I shall explain the operation. Inkel takes a deep breath. None of you will be coming to battle with me. Inkel. Sibram, prepare for our departure. Yes, sir. You're not leaving us behind. This isn't a debate, soldier. This is my responsibility, not yours. Sir, you said yourself that you didn't have the men to defend or tell castle. This is suicide. It's not your castle, and it's not your problem. There are people out there who need help. Of course, it's our problem. I'm not going to stand by and let your stubborn pride sentence them to death. I thought you came here to save lives. Alhan, it is time to let those old wounds heal. Let this old man help you for once. 
Did he lose in hand? Right there, it doesn't look like he has one. Sir, I have a urgent message. What is it? Ahan, Ahan took the bloody shade and went after the formers by himself. Oh, yeah, so he did go berserk. What? That foul root is fatal to humans. Sir, he left this morning. Damn it. Is, is it too late? You've done enough. Ahan gets up and starts packing a bag. Sir, say what you want. I'm coming with you. Ahan looks at the mercenary around him. I will not force anyone to join me. If you wish to stay, stay. I'm coming, sir. You and Lena, what say you? I'll go, sure. You hard-headed bunch of reckless idiots. You're f fools to follow this stubborn mule. Inkil lets out a big sigh. What good is this damn lordship if I can't even get my men to follow orders? Everyone, prepare yourself. We move at daybreak. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Inkil pulls all hands on. All hands. I am not sure we will return from this battle. All my, all your friends, all your subordinates, they're not safe. I, I only pray you will suffer, not suffer as you did before. I have a duty to protect these people. But I also have a duty to you, Inkel. You are my oldest friend, and you're asking me to watch while you march to your death alone? I was too late to save my family, but I will not be too late to save you, sir. Uh oh, I thought he was going to say something like that. I will not stand by until it's too late to save you. Oh man, this feels like a final battle. Everyone's hyped up. This could be it. I wonder if anyone's going to die from this fight. Hopefully not. We already lost Ellis, but I mean, to begin with, he didn't do much. Turns out he was a secret brotherhood agent. And I'm not sure if he could fight. Ouch. But apparently anyone who becomes a cadet should be able to fight, so I feel like that's a plot hole. Or maybe I'm just being wrong and he wasn't a Royal Army cadet. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, I feel sneeze coming up. That's gonna be annoying later. My PC's been turning off randomly, so I got a new PSU. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to replace it. Hopefully, that'll fix my PC. Maybe not. Also, we'll see. Also, my. PC's also been acting weird when I edit. Like, it'll look like it'll glitch the screen. Uh, I was gonna say, I should trans. But, it'll happen. So. Oh man, this guy's geared up. Ooh, nice. Okay, how'd that hurt? Ouch. Damn, we broke this. Combo Wombo. On you, the feeder. No, oh, there's still more. 
My friends, because of your help, my people are safe from the trolls and their bloody scheme. It honors me to fight alongside such brave and noble warriors. What about the trolls that drank from the bloody shade? They were they were like monsters. If, if the Roots has, has that kind of power, the Pontiff Court must be informed. I mean, but didn't the Pontiff Court not want to keep it on records? Because they want to hide it? It could be a great boon for our troops. Oh, man. It's one of those. We can use this as a weapon for our side. I would wager they already know. Sir, you said there was no official record. Many years ago, a friend and comrade drank from the bloody shade so that he could avenge his family. He destroyed an entire former village on his own. Every last creature was rendered too much and too much in his inhumane wrath. That must be odd, hon. I filled the report with the pontiff court myself, but I made sure they left him alone after that. I wager they buried that file deep in the archives. My friend left his post soon after he has, he had lost everything. The root magic cannot be used for good. It breeds chaos and hatred. It turns men to savages and murderers, even the best of us. And Kel claps his hands together, but we have had enough of tragedy. As the Lord of Ortel, I wish to extend my thanks to you all. If the goddess ever comes to take us away, she will have more souls to carry because of the crimson blades. Oh, Raise your swords now with me, friends. For today, we are the victors. There's a lot of excitement going on the mercenary outposts. Adhan, I owe you one, please. It was only my duty. Goddess, help me, Adhan. Learn to accept a compliment. His gaze swings to you. Yurlina, without you, Orto Castle will be run by trolls. I know you got your heart set on joining the Royal Army, and I won't try to talk you out of it, but... Well, just keep your wits about you. People are not always what they seem, especially in the capital. I know that because the church is sus. Inkel unpins the brooch from his cloak and gives it to you. Consider that a good luck charm. Sir, that's mine to give and less than what Urlina deserves. I'm afraid the pen is bent, so you need to get it repaired. I'm sure that the big fellow at the forge can fix it up. Run and get that taken care of so I can pin it on you myself. What brings you here today? You show him the, the brooch and its bent pen. Oh, fancy. How much do you want for it? Fix it. Oh, sure thing, sure thing. That amateur's work. I could do it with my eyes closed. One strike of this hammer and that thing's going to be straight as an arrow. Fergus lift his giant iron hammer. Hup. Wham. Oh, oh boy. Fergus lifts his hammer. The, bro the brush is pulverized. Wow, I'm truly sorry. I'll make it up to you sometimes, okay? Just sorry. Damn it, Fergus. You have one job. One job to do. It's the only job you know how to do. Why? How? Now then, how about I? You show him the brooch. Am I even saying right? Is it brooch or brooch? Brosh? Whatever. Well then, you should probably find a new blacksmith. <clears throat> that voice crack again. He slaps you on the shoulder. I doubt you will have gotten use of all of it anyways. I'll have something better for you next time. Everything is ready for our departure tomorrow morning. Very well. I have a number of message messages to draft to keep our friends in the capital happy. I will retire to my room for the evening. It has been a pleasure meeting you all. Have a safe trip back. Alhan, it was a true it was a true pleasure to see you again. The honor was mine, sir. I'm sorry I cannot stay longer. Sir, we could delay our return. No, my people need me. Besides, I know where to find him now. He'll be sick of seeing me in no time. Ha ha. Perhaps I should come visit you. I look forward to it. We will celebrate our victories and drink away our losses. Just like the old days. Must you be so dur? I'm sorry. Loosen your collar for once. Today is a day of triumph. The pontiff court was quite satisfied with the in information we retrieved from the formers. Don't worry about Donnerin and the girls. I told them I would return as soon as the battle was over. Bow is over when I say it's over. Oh, man. Come now, lad. I can't let you abandon your post, can I? No, sir. You're not the only married man here, Alhan. Plenty of those boys want to get home to their families, and they will tomorrow. Just for tonight, pretend you aren't married and enjoy a night with the boys. You earned it. But orders are orders. Oh, so because he went out drinking with his men, his, his troops, 
it ended up getting his family killed because he wasn't there to protect them. So he made a vow not to drink anymore. Now drink. Yes, sir. Today is a wonderful day. Eat, drink, be merry, and save your regret for the morning. Oh. You're Lena. The mercenary outpost feels empty now that Inko and Sibir are gone. I guess you never know how much you miss someone until they're gone. I don't know what you're talking about, Red. These new folks are like roaches. You get rid of one, two more show up. How? Oh, man. How unfortunate for you. Commander, I, I, I'm sorry. When did you get here? Relax. I assume you didn't want me to hear that, Gwen. Yes, Commander. It's good to see you again. What can we do for you? I'm here recording the Ortel Castle incident. As I reported earlier, everything is under control. Nothing to worry about. Why would I worry about Inkel? I come for something else. The plant that your troops discovered. What was it called? The Bloody Shade? Yes. Did you keep one, sir? I asked you a question. Oh, well, I'm not sure. Yurlina, did you keep one of those plants? I'm sure I would know if. I am asking Yurlina. Riordan approaches you. Did you bring back a Bloody Shade to keep? If you are hiding something, I will find it. I cannot have liars sneak in my royal army. Uh, Chief, I wasn't hiding this. I was just moving it. Riordan glares at you for a second, then snatches the blade shade from Gallagher. I feel like he just wanted to get us kicked out from the royal army. All right, so that's it. Yes, sir. I believe so. What's, what's going on? Did you investigate how these plants were cultivated? No, they were just at the ruins in Hilder Forest. Then this is the time to investigate, sir. There is a major blade, bloody shade patch here. Go investigate the enemy cultivation method. If anyone gets in your way, remove them. I didn't know such a place ex existed in Hilder Forest. We've never been there. This is that is of no importance. Yeah. So how did you know? Lord Inkel never mentioned this place. How did you find out about it? You asked a lot of questions, Alhan. Maybe you've forgotten how to take orders. There are many skilled magicians of Pontiff Court who have access to information beyond our imagination. The location was deemed to be important enough to investigate. That should be enough to go on. That's very sus. Now, who is going to take this mission? I would ask elsewhere. Must you always be so difficult? Yes. Riordan looks at you. You're Lena, you are in charge. Consider this your first mission as a cadet. All right. Hurry up. Someone might fall. Let's see this. I'm gonna transform and give him a holy kick. Damn. They're all good. Never mind. That's incorrect. These guys aren't doing good. Well, they're about to be. Alright, into the Shady Forest boss. Okay, those are some big horns. Oh, he does a shockwave. Another horn. Stunning me. Wow, he's almost dead. I thought he'd pull out a bigger fight. Oh, easy peasy. Would you like uh, to report to Rear then? You're back. If you found any anything, show me. Is this soil? What is that foul stench? Wait, is there Formorian blood mixed into this? Bloody soil and bleeding plants. Intriguing. Very well done. I will report this to Rochester so that they can take over the investigation. Gwen, I expect you to be recalled to Rochester soon. They want to reward you for your accomplishment here. Oh, thank you, sir. That's Gwen looks at Anhan. I must go. You really, I trust you need no further reward. Wow. 
Very well, Yonina. I will be waiting for you in Rochas. Anyways, guys, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Bye.